Yes guys, my name is Morsi and welcome to the start of a new journey, a new series on my channel. This is going to be Restoring Glory. This is another career mode series on my channel and don't worry, before I start this, it's not replacing the Brentford career mode. That is going to be the main priority. This is somewhat of a side series to go along with it. This series is somewhat of a rebuilding series. So essentially what we're doing is taking teams that used to be fighting for European places, used to be in the top flight of their respective countries, who aren't quite living up to their potential anymore. They may have got relegated, for example, or they aren't just doing as good as what they should be doing. So series number one, we're going to be using a team that used to be a big dog in Spanish football, it used to be in the top flight destroying teams. That is, of course, Malaga CF. In the second Spanish tier currently, we are coming in, we are taking over Malaga. We are building that team again, investing in youth, buying players that I know have high ceilings, high potentials, and we're going to be pushing them European places. Aim number one is definitely get the team promoted. That is the goal number one. And then we want to be pushing to the top flight of the Spanish leagues, getting into European football and uh, restoring glory. Here we go then guys, super excited for this one. Something a little different to the Brentford Career Mode series I'm already doing on my channel. I'm gonna try and keep this as unique as possible. I'm not just gonna buy players that everybody gets for their career mode, the most obvious signings, high potential. I'm gonna look for unique players and try and build them, some hidden gems essentially. That is the aim. This is what we're playing on all the difficulty. Competitive mode will be on, so the hardest possible difficulty in this career mode. Six minute half lengths and the negotiating strictness is loose. So as always with the pre-season tournament invites, I'm going to set the one that gives you the most money. If you don't do that, you should be doing it because they're all the same difficulty. And at the end of the day, I probably will be simming majority of these matches. So every little coin helps towards us rebuilding this team. And here we go. Rebuilding glory. Let's do this. So before I get into the team, I'm just going to quickly look at our youth squad report. See if we've got any decent looking players. Nothing too spectacular in all fairness. Mr. Jakobsen here, 15 year old goalkeeper. So it could be the only decent one worth investing in this team. I'm going to leave these guys here for now. I won't release anybody. Let's get straight into the squad and see what we're working with for this first series. First look at this team, guys. We've got some nice building blocks and some good young players that should have some decent potential in this team. But majority of it, I will be looking to strengthen. What is good about Malaga is they don't have too much depth, which means I can bring in a few players comfortably. Get rid of some of the old boys and to rebuild this team. So that's what I'm going to do straight away, guys. I'm going to go into the transfer market get my scout game on, recruit some players that I know for a fact I want to bring in, and I'll update you from there. So annoyingly, before I get stuck into this, I need to go through and do as many training jobs as I can, so I'm going to slowly be doing them behind the scenes. I won't bore you by showing you the gameplay, just so you know I'm not messing about. So we've received the transfer offer for 33-year-old David Lomban, straight up. If he is a legend of Malaga, I apologise, because he is going straight out the window. We're all about rebuilding. We want to prioritise the youth getting the signings in quick. So I've been secretly simming the European tournament in the background and we've lose to Toulouse in the semi-final. We lose to Toulouse? We lose to Toulouse in the semi-final 2-0. But that's fine. We get a bit of extra money to our coffers. And now we can focus on the nitty gritty, the training, bringing in these players, strengthening this squad and starting this season. So signing number one I'm going to go for is Arvin Apaya. He plays for UD Almeria, the same league as us. He's English, right mid, left mid. And I've used this guy in a few of my bronze squad builders and bronze versus the best. If you're interested in that series, it's a series where I kind of take the best bronze teams, play against some of the best teams in the game, like full icon teams, and see if they can compete. It's on my channel if you want to check it out. Either way, shameless plug out the way, Arvin Apaya, let's see if we can get him in. Ooh, I played a bit of hardball. Ginger Beard and the mullet came in, and 1 million and a 3% signing clause. Let's do this. This could be signing number one to the Malaga rebuild. Let's get in the contract and see if we can sweet talk him a little bit. Take a minute to appreciate my character, guys. Come on, the mullet, the ginger beard. We all know ginger beard is the way forward at the moment. Let's go then, guys. Apaya is our first signing, and I'm hyped about this one because his potential is crazy. He's young. The next player I'm going to look to bring in is Antonio Marin. This guy is in the Calcio B or the Syria B, which actually isn't on career mode, weirdly. Really. You can't play with these teams. They're part of the rest of the world. Uh, he's looking for about 2.6 to 3.6 million for this guy. I might try to do the usual player swap or try and swindle him a deal. Get my wheeler dealer on with my mullet and see what we can do. Absolute scenes. We managed to swap a player and 620k. It's orange. I don't know if that's good or bad, but I pressed the sept anyway. Let's see if we can get this guy in. I'm super excited. Left wing, right wing, cab, six foot, four star, four star. And he's got a decent potential too. There we go. Signing number two to the team, Marin. Get in the club, my son. The next man on my list is Lassina Traore. 19 years of age, Burkina Faso's finest, currently at Ajax. 
I'm pretty certain a few weeks back, a few months back, he scored like eight goals in a game or some, something crazy like that. Ajax won double digits. It was mental. He's the next man on my list. It was him or Brian Bobby, both Ajax players. I've seen too many people buy Brian Bobby, so we're going to go for Lucina Traore. It's a little bit different, all right? Let's see if we can get him in. So we've, I don't know what happened there, but I've managed to talk him into taking Alejandro Benitez and 2.9 million in a swap deal. That, I wasn't expecting it to work, but I think it may have, and we're going to go straight in for negotiations, try and get him signed up. Crucial, you're going to be our best striker, mate. Pretty much our only striker. Yeah, signing number three. Traore, get in here, boy. Welcome. Join the unit. Join the army. Get yourself in the squad. So as a free agent, I'm going to look to bring in also Luis Dalpino Mago. So we're going to try and get this free agent, Luis Dalpino Mago, 66 overall centre back, 25 years of age. Of course, we don't need a transfer fee and we do need a decent bit of cover in the centre back position. So we're going to see if we can get this guy in and uh, it should be pretty easy to do. Oh, mate, come on. You're just making it too easy for me. 2.4 million. 2.4 million? Fucking hell, you imagine. 2.4 thousand. Cheeky. Signing number... Number four? Signing number four. So I'm going to bring in Matty Jakobsen from our youth squad. I mean, he's the best player we've got, to be fair. And I mean, if I can loan him out early doors now, fingers crossed that I can boost his potential throughout the season and uh, we'll be on to a bit of a winner. So next on the list is one of Arsenal's finest. I'm an Arsenal fan, so I had to squeeze in well, at least one Arsenal youngster, didn't I? Miguel Aziz, 60 overall, 17 years of age, and he looks cheap as chips. So we're going to go straight in for him and fingers crossed. We're not spending too much. So 520,000 is the price we managed to get Miguel Aziz for. I mean, we negotiated at least. Let's look at that. 800 pounds this man wants a week. 800 pounds. Imagine moving from Arsenal and you're getting 80 quid a week. I'm obviously not going to argue that. This man is one for the future. My ginger beard. We're doing this. Let's go. Miguel Aziz signing number five. Welcome. So to end off episode one of this new series, we're going to play our first league game. Toughest difficulty possible, ultimate competitive mode is also on. And we've got Corona FC up first to see if we can start the season off to the ideal start and get a big three points in the back. Malaga Stadium is absolutely stunning. Just look at that. Let's take a minute to take that in. The sun is setting. A Liga Smart Bank is game on Corona FC. I'm confident. Derek Ray and Lee Dixon, the old faithful, the favourites, commentating on this Spanish second tier football. The stadium's insane. Honestly, I'm super excited for this series. Fingers crossed we can smash through the first season, get into La Liga in our first season, and then it's only onwards and upwards from there. From the overlap, Gonzalez has the pace. Traore's in the middle, and that is goal number one. As easy as that, the new signing for Ajax, the big man himself, puts this 1-0 up. And hopefully there's plenty more of that this season. Nice little layoff to Gonzalez. One little touch, drills it in. And the big beast, the Burkina Faso machine, is lurking. And he pounces and buries it. Nice little run from Traore off the ball. Little man runs over, Enriquez. Whips that off the post. So close to making that 2-0. Not in the last minute. Get out of my box, lads. Oh, wow. Jam on toast and Garona get a goal in the 42nd. I don't know how I didn't tackle them. This game has been a bit slow paced, to be fair. I could let it go for the ball. Comes off him. And I don't know how he scored from there. But all that matters is it is one all boys. Use his pace. Use his pace. A higher. This man has paced a burn. Look at this. Big man's making his way in the middle. Lucina. Let's go. This man is an absolute tank. A pie over the pace and Marin on the other side to get down the wings. It's like we just got to keep feeding them in. Whipping them balls in. And the Cena Traore is going to dispatch them every single chance he gets. So the two new boys linking up beautiful. That little weighted thing. Power behind that head. Absolutely. Plays in Traore. He has opportunity to get his hat trick. And that is how we do it. What a start to this season, guys. The Cena Traore gets a hat-trick in 65 minutes for Malaga. This man is going to carry us this season. Miguel Aziz off the bench gets assist number one also. Happy days. Two new boys linking up again for this goal. This beautiful first touch does the challenge. And his right foot finish across the goalkeeper into the side net. Lovely start. Oh, 
Oh, the game's opening him up now. This is beautiful play. Miguel Aziz again plays in Traore for his fourth, and what a goal. That is the football you're going to see, guys. Malaga are destroying Girona here, and Traore makes it for Miguel Aziz. Started it, got another assist. Super sub. This man, this partnership is going to be beautiful. Fingers crossed you'll see it in the European Heights in a few seasons. That's the end of this. Oh, Miguel Aziz has played the gyro. Is this assist number three for Aziz? Gyro makes it five. Let's go, boys. This is how we start the season. Big five goals, three assists from Aziz off the bench. This man has a serious future ahead of him. And that is GG's in the check. So what a way to cap off the first episode, guys. 5-1 win against Girona. Traore gets four, Aziz gets three assists. We sign five players and we start off with big three points. What more could you want? In the next episode, I'm going to still look to strengthen the squad quite a bit, bring in a few more players. If there's anybody I should look to get, guys, let me know in the comment section down below and I shall definitely take a look. We're also going to smash out as many games as possible. Active Sims, we're going to be playing some more, so just trying to progress through the first season until we get to the big promotion. That's the aim. I'm not saying it's happening, but that is the aim, and we're definitely going to try and hit it. Anyway, I've been Morsi, guys. If you've enjoyed, please consider leaving a like, subscribing to my channel, leaving me a comment, let me know how you were doing. I'll catch you very soon for another video. Take it easy.